Hello everyone and welcome back to Nomad Overland. My name is Joe and I'm helping out my good friend Bin while he makes some new content for you guys. So don't worry, he will be back in the next video. So if you want to keep your food safe while you're overlanding, also even camping, follow these top 10 tips. Number one, bear resistant containers. Now, invest in bear resistant containers. These specially designed containers are tough for animals to open and are essential in areas with bear activities. What makes it so tough for animals to be able to open this is that they have a specially designed lid or closure around the opening of the container. Some campsites actually provide these containers for you to put your coolers in. Number two, store food away from your sleeping area. Always store food, your cooking utensils, any kind of scented items, at least 100 yards away from your sleeping area. This reduces the chance of attracting wildlife to your campsite. Number three, hang food in trees. Now you're probably thinking, wait, I'm going to hang my cooler in a tree? No way. Well, actually, if you don't have a bear resistant container, you can use a bear bag or a bear proof bag. Uh, you can also use odor proof bags to do the same thing. Uh, I'll talk about odor proof bags in the next tip. Um, these bags ensure that you have a little bit of extra safety, but in order to do that, you need to hang the bag at least 10 to 15 feet off of the ground and about four to six feet away from the trunk of the tree. This kind of makes it a little harder for animals to be able to reach the bag. Number four, odor proof bags. I mentioned this in the last tip. You can store food um, and even waste in odor proof bags to minimize the scent that can attract wildlife. Now these bags help contain the smells and fragrances and everything that uh, can attract wildlife to your campsite. And also it just adds a little extra layer of protection. Number five, clean up thoroughly. After meals, you wanna clean up all food scraps and wash your utensils and pots, plates, and you also wanna make sure the cooking area is cleaned and wiped down. And then you also want to dispose of waste properly and make sure that it's in designated bins uh, or if there are no bins to be able to throw away, like if you are camping wild, pack it out. This helps keep nature clean. It helps keep the wildlife safe from like, plastics or anything like that. Make sure, keep it clean. Number six, avoid scented products. Avoid using scented toiletries and items in your campsite as they can attract wildlife. Right? If they smell good for us, they definitely smell good for wildlife. So opt for scented or bear safe versions whenever possible. Number seven already. Okay, cook and eat away from camp. Prepare and consume food away from your main camping area. This reduces the chance of lingering odors attracting animals to where you sleep. Now, I know sometimes the camping area is quite small. This is why you want to make sure that you follow step five, um, or tip five, rather, uh, and clean up thoroughly. Try to make sure that there are no lingering scents of food. Number eight, animal resistant coolers. Now you're probably thinking, well, wait, you said bear proof containers in tip number one. What's the difference? Well, these coolers are certified as bear resistant, um, or they also have like additional locks and latches to keep wildlife out. So some coolers have like kind of like a small hole where you can add like a padlock or a combination lock. You can also secure these coolers with straps or store them in your vehicle when not in use. Tip number nine, 
properly dispose of waste. Now I touched a little bit on this in tip number five, but no matter what it is that you have, pack it out. If there are no available bins like trash bins or recycling bins, pack it out. Take away your food waste. Um, this includes like peels, cores, and other scraps. Um, you want to use resealable bags to store waste securely until you can dispose of it properly. And number 10, we're on number 10 already. Be aware of local wildlife. Research the types of wildlife in the area you're visiting and their behaviors. Knowing what animals are common can help you take appropriate precautions to keep your food safe. And this also helps to keep you safe while you are camping and enjoying nature. By following these tips, you can greatly reduce the risk of wildlife getting into your food. It won't totally prevent because animals, they're just as smart as we are. By following these tips, you can greatly reduce the risk of wildlife getting into your food. Uh, it also ensures a safer, more enjoyable overlanding experience.